Hello there, YouTubers. My name's Dwayne, and this is the Schwinn Stingray Chopper I got from the junkyard for 20 bucks that I modified. And you might be interested in the modifications because it, it actually makes a, a fairly nice boomer age uh, bike because you, it's kind of relaxed when you're sitting on it. It, uh, it fits me and I'm a rather tall person, well over six feet. If you do make your own, I would suggest you add a kill switch in line. This is really important. I didn't do that the first time and I regretted it. I added two more uh, power supply lugs. I, I think we call them P60s, I'm not sure. But uh, here you can see where I've taken the battery and mounted it under the seat and to carve the seat away to uh to make this all work but it, it hides it pretty good and then of course i made this little velcro bag that hides the the wiring and also i added this switch and thank you very much i forget the guy in california i believe he was in california who showed me how to wire a five volt five wire light system into a six wire light uh, a controller system and this headlight here, which I should be able to turn on, which oops, apparently I don't have it plugged in. Anyhow, the, the light was modified, chopped away, uh, and, and I have a much more elaborate brake lighting system, brake light in the system. And, uh, you know, it worked out pretty good. This is also a trailer that came from the same junkyard, uh, downriver scrap. So this is my uh, little adventure. And it's, it really is rather comfortable if you don't take it more than about a half mile. Um, but other than that, I think you need kind of a padded seat. But it looks pretty cool. And I think uh, I might have a total of about 500 bucks into this. So for me, it was a rather worthy project.